Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm TCA Sharad Raghavan and I'm going to be speaking to you about my report on how the government's infrastructure push, Make in India campaign and ongoing transition to green energy is driving the stock prices of PSUs in diverse sectors to all-time highs. In addition, since a lot of the announcements being made by the government are highly visible, they're driving up the stock prices of the related companies even if their current revenues don't support such optimism. The expectation amongst investors is that growth will come very soon and that expectation is creating a strong positive sentiment in the stock markets. An analysis by the print of the stock prices and underlying fundamentals of the listed Central Public Sector Enterprises or CPSEs has found that 19 public sector companies operating in railways, power, housing, shipping, metals, telecom and heavy machinery spaces have seen their stock prices surge over 100% over the last year with many seeing a jump of 300 to 400%. The reasons for this surge according to analysts and the companies themselves is a significant uptake in new business. Many of these sectors such as housing, power and telecom or metals, railways and heavy equipment manufacturing are interlinked and so increased activity in one has positive knock-on effects on others. The data shows that these companies have seen their stock prices outpace the growth seen in the overall Sensex which is the benchmark index of the Bombay Stock Exchange and also the BSE CPSE index which tracks all of the central public sector enterprises that are listed. Here's what Gaurang Shah, Senior Vice President at Geojit Financial Services told the print, I quote, not only government companies, but even the private sector ones connected to the overall infrastructure push are doing well. The overall sense is that largely three sectors are doing and will do well. These are defense, railways and power generation and transmission because all are interdependent on each other. On infrastructure, if you want to go to a 7% or higher growth rate on a sustained basis, you can't do it with the current infrastructure. You have to modernize the existing infrastructure and create new infrastructure. So both public and private sector companies in these spaces will benefit. I close quotes. He further added that a push towards a $5 trillion economy will require banking finance and power generation to substantially improve. The government is pushing forward in these areas and the initial outcome is visible in the order books of such companies and the resultant jump in their stock prices. The highest gainers, with stock prices rising 300 to 400% over the last year, have been the railway companies. And a previous analysis by the print found that this was driven by full order books and capacity expansion. In addition to this, the push to expand railway capacity continues. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs on Thursday approved six projects of the Ministry of Railways with a total estimated cost of 12,343 crore with 100% funding coming from the central government. Among the other major gainers in terms of stock prices are public sector companies operating in the power, metals and heavy equipment manufacturing sectors. The annual reports of these companies provide some clues as to why. For example, SJVN, formerly known as Satlaj Jal Vidyut Nigam, saw its stock price rise 359% over the last year. A look at the company's annual report shows that the capacity of projects in its pipeline grew a robust 57% in one year. The next highest gainer in this segment was Power Finance Corporation, which saw its stock price jump 311% over the last year. Interestingly, according to analysts, companies like PFC and Rural Electrification Corporation are riding high on sentiment and the perception that the government's push to transition to greener fuels will bring in new business in a sustained manner. MSTC, which is under the Ministry of Steel and operates in the trading of various uh, e-commerce services through e-commerce auctions and e-procurement services, saw its stock price jump 272% over the last year. According to analysts, the government's initiatives over the past few years to e-auction major and minor mineral blocks 
has created new opportunities for MSTC, which has gone on to sign agreements with most state governments, which in turn has set the company up for a solid revenue stream in the future. Hindustan Copper, which saw its stock price rise 174% over the last year, believes that the government's ongoing renewable energy and electric vehicle push will have strong positive knock-on effects on the copper industry due to the increased demand for copper. Here's what the company said in its 2023 annual report. I quote, The growing demand from the power sector in view of the government laying a thrust on renewable energy and increasing demand from the households for consumer durables will increase the demand for copper in India. The projected demand for copper due to EVs is expected to increase by around 1.7 million tons by 2027. MMTC, an importer and exporter of metals, saw its stock price jump 189% over the last year for similar reasons. The overall infrastructure push has also created demand for engineering services and heavy machinery, which has led to companies in these areas, such as Engineers India and BEML, seeing their stock prices rise a solid 190% and 164% respectively over the last year. Schemes like the government's PM Avas Yojana to provide housing for all and its push for telecom and internet connectivity across India have benefited both public sector construction companies as well as telecom equipment providers. For example, NBCC India, which executes key construction and redevelopment projects for the government, saw its stock price jump a very strong 351% over the last year. In its annual report, the company said its order book stood at a strong 45,275 crore as on March 31st, 2023. Notably, it added that about 10% of this was added during 2022-23 itself. A similar story is unfolding for Housing and Urban Development Corporation or HUDCO, which saw a 319% increase in its stock price. The future outlook in terms of government sectoral focus and related developments have positive implications for HUDCO's medium-term and long-term strategies, the company said in its 2023 annual report. The enhanced allocation for Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, both urban and rural, by 66% to over 79,000 crore announced in the 2023-24 union budget will have a positive effect on the housing activities in the country, the company added. Now, the housing scheme received another boost in the interim budget 2024-25, in which Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman announced that 2 crore more houses would be constructed over the next 5 years. ITI, earlier known as Indian Telephone Industries, has seen a boost because of the government's 4G push in rural areas, the company said. As a result, its stock price has jumped 247% over the last year. Now, according to the Indian Navy, as of November 2023, 67 of its ships are under construction, of which 65 are being made in India. Apart from this, the Indian Coast Guard also places orders for ships, all of which go to Indian manufacturers. The Navy has further said that all future capacity expansions will be made in India. What this has meant is that Indian shipbuilders have received a significant boost in their orders, which has pushed up their stock prices to record highs. Cochin Shipyard, for example, saw its stock price jump 254% over the last year. In December 2023, the company said it had bagged an order worth 488 crore from the Ministry of Defence. Also in December, Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders said it will be constructing and supplying six vessels to the Indian Coast Guard for about 1600 crore rupees. The company's stock price has risen nearly 200% over the last year. So, overall, it's clear that the government's activities in infrastructure, power and housing are visible and this is driving up sentiment and in turn the stock prices of the companies operating in these areas to historic highs. On that note, that's all from me. Thank you for watching.